What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today is a very, very special day for me. Not only will I be seeing Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1, but I will be seeing it with my brother. My brother James, who lives in Spain, um, I get to see him once or twice a year, and uh, both me and him absolutely love our movies. Um, so I cannot wait today to spend the day with him, to go a bit of shopping, and uh, of course to see Tom Cruise save our summer at the cinema. Let's go. So obviously the last few vlogs and videos that I've done have been fairly negative when it comes to the things I've been watching and reviewing. Not because I've said, okay, this is how I'm gonna go now. It's because I had such high expectations of those movies. Traditionally, I am incredibly positive when it comes to movies, but I am not so close to the fandom I would never call out its short form. And so for me, seeing The Flash and seeing Indy was so disappointing because it could have been so much more. And sometimes going in with that high expectation and being let down is a greater fall. But I think they deserved it because they're no good. Um, so yeah, I'm on my way to see my brother now. Uh, my brother is, is is my best friend as well and um, it's just amazing that me and him get to see each other face to face, we speak nearly every day anyway and we talk about a lot of the stuff that I've been talking about on here really about the attitude to film and the, the, the landscape of the cinema at the moment. I'm a massive fan of Mission Impossible franchise. I think them introducing Christopher McQuarrie into the franchise from Ghost Protocol onwards has made a big, big difference. Uh, he, he's written and di directed the majority since then. Um, but having that one voice and vision, and I think him and Tom Cruise work incredibly well together anyway. They focus a lot on how real those stunts are and how well it's written as well and how relevant it is and by all accounts a lot of the set pieces are done first and the story is written around that which is very rare and they've obviously pulled it off because they've done such an incredible job Mission Impossible Fallout that was the best one for me um, so I am hoping for this one to be as good, if not better. If it's better, whoo, we are in for a treat. I absolutely love Fallout. I love Mission Impossible 3, JJ Abrams and Ghost Protocol. I kind of like the first one now. The first one, I never was that bothered about back in the day, but I think it obviously was quite slow. But I can't wait for this one. It's gonna be amazing. Um, so yeah, while we're on here, what's your favourite Mission Impossible so, um, so far? Have you seen this one yet? Let me know in the comments. But yeah. I'm also seeing Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 in IMAX. I have not been to an IMAX since Dark Knight Rises. And I think Skyfall. So it's the last two times, twice, I have been to the cinema to see anything in IMAX. So I am so looking forward to seeing this. Tom Cruise has done it again. That man has saved my summer at the cinema. He's never been better, honest to God. The man is 61 years old. 
He's 20 years older than me, he looks better than me. He's unbelievable. Honest to God, I am so happy I got to experience it in IMAX. What an experience. Tom Cruise has once again saved cinema two years in a row. Bear in mind, he did Maverick last year, and now he's done Dead Reckoning Part 1. Please know when you go in and see this film, ideally, you'll have need to see the previous few. Simply because there's loads of characters that carried on from that, and some of the story arcs with it is really important for you to follow. Also, this is the first part of 2, which will release next year. I am blown away by the set pieces, the action, the level of stunt work, and the size and scope of this very relevant story. The level of artistry in this is unbelievable. The soundtrack, the direction, the writing, Tom Cruise has never been better. He just brings his A game and you feel it. You feel the heart, the emotion, everything. The sheer love of cinema is there. I am so glad I got to experience it in IMAX. I would encourage everybody out there to watch it in IMAX, the biggest cinema screen you can see it on. Hey, wow, my boy, my boy, my boy. What a wonderful time. I've had such an amazing day with my brother. Got to see Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning Part One. Made extra special by sitting with bro, but also on IMAX as well. That film is fantastic, uh, in case you couldn't tell earlier. Um, it's just amazing. I think um, the real benefit, obviously, of Tom Cruise doing his own stunts, doing the driving, there's a scene in, in Rome, which is just fantastic, and you feel every turn, you feel every drop, every everything. Um, that spoils. Um, it's just fantastic. I absolutely loved it. I am really, really interested to see what the next part will be like and how it will play out. Um, I have a couple of theories, but I won't say them here. Uh, I've loved every second of it. Thanks so much for sticking, watching the vlog. Um, if you want to check back on Tuesday as well, uh, I'll be doing the film club where we'll be talking about Mission Impossible, Dead Reckoning, Part 1. Have a great day, take care, and thanks again.